Many people are in ministry, they are very angry because they are suffering from disappointed expectations. Out of everyone, Reverend Eastwood in Bulga, there are thousands of pastors in classrooms who cannot afford three square meals for their family. So if we look at him to enter into ministry, you'll be in trouble. So if you want to enter into ministry in Bulga, please don't look at Reverend Eastwood. He's your father. But don't go, go far into the hinterlands of an interview pastors there. Let them tell you how they have survived over the years. Let them tell you how many pastors at the age of 50 are suffering from diabetes and hypertension because of the stress in ministry. Don't sit at home and watch Archbishop on TV and touch the TV and say, I'm taking this anointing. It doesn't work that way. He didn't get his anointing touching TVs. Don't look at how Reverend Steve is doing and say, ah, me too, I'm going to run missions. I'm going to run missions. I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. Please, you will kill yourself. It is called disappointed expectations. It is the cause of many troubles in marriages. People enter into marriages and they have certain expectations. We have children and we will live here and we will do this. After 10 years, nothing has happened. They become disappointed. A lot of people have entered into ministry with certain expectations that are not very realistic. And they are now so disappointed in ministry and they are very angry. People get into ministry. In three years, they want to own a car. There are people who have taught for 30 years. They don't even have bicycles. And they are teachers. They are well educated than you. And they don't even have bicycles. Measure your expectations when you are entering into this work. Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. He didn't say, follow me and I will make you an overnight millionaire. Are you here? If you are truly following him, he will take you through a lot of things. A cousin of mine came to me and said he was watching TV and saw me. He was watching with the mother. And they saw me and they saw my name to Tio Fair. Sir, my senior pastor took me to Togo. And he did. I've been there for two years. I don't speak the people's language. I'm suffering. My brother, I'm suffering. So I've come down. Now I'm coming to work with you. I'm coming to work with you. I said, Minya. Missionaries came to our country, learned our language, and translated them into Bible for us. You have been with the people for two years. You did not learn their language. And it's an excuse for non-performance. I said, you see, the things you are telling me, I suffered more than that when I came to Spinter's Road. If I ran away like the way you ran away, you wouldn't have seen me on TV. So please go back to Togo. And perform i said if you are presenting a cv to someone don't tell the person you ran away from your from a fight tell the person how you confronted it and overcame it and dealt with it so that i will be impressed to em employ you if you could not solve one problem somewhere you cannot solve the problems around me you have to be a proven problem solver to be promoted to the next level they will prove it to do, um so that was why it was the opportunity to fight Goliath. This, this I'm sharing is called the basis of ministry.